love that view of the skylines in here. It's really pretty. Nice. Yeah, to it all yeah. but we'll see how it goes there's how... a lot of stuff you can do yep yeah. i'm actually kind of volunteering to help out run some of our new york rides so nice might be uh that's good too might eat up some of my time yeah The summer, winter? Uh, I believe it's A little bit of a collision there with someone accidentally. I think the road's a little slick and I didn't brake quite on time. Dumped my stuff on the ground <laughs> and uh, had to stop and realign a couple doodads. We're back in business. Hooray. All right, we're about 15 miles into it. I just figured out why I ran into someone. So this. Hi there. Well, hello. Hey. How's it going? Yeah, good. <laughs> This little cord caught on the quick release for the front brake stop. So basically, I had no front brake. It took me a while to figure out what the heck happened, but it happened again. So I readjusted that elastic so that that doesn't happen again. I thought I broke my brake cable for a little bit, but I didn't. <clears throat> About 25 miles into this, feeling all right. Not feeling like the greatest climber in the world, but I'm doing okay. Wickham, Pennsylvania. Van Sant, I think. supposed to be windy but it hasn't been that much of a factor it's supposed to get a little bit of a tailwind on the return which is really cool so walk the bikes 
I don't know about that. This looks okay. Doo -doo -doo. And so far, no rain. So far, no rain. That's even better news. Must be pretty close to the first control here. I guess there's a French bakery I missed on the first time, so I'm gonna try to find it. We're in New Hope, I think. Coming up along the Delaware River, right on my right. Someone was signing cards, that was nice. I'm gonna stop at this pastry shop that Brad told me is the thing to go to. It's a French pastry shop up here to the right, I guess. Could not find it. Oh well, Starbucks it is. Got myself a little wrap. Drinks. <laughs> right here at the bridge here of Delaware. In New Hope. It's about 9.30, 88 miles to go. As soon as you stop, you start getting chilly. <laughs> so, don't stop much, just keep rolling. No, it's looking muddy in the spring. Well, no one's with me. <clears throat> Not sure if everyone took off and didn't stop for food or what happened. But I think it's really cool about the routes around here is all the stone buildings. On our way to the Tinnicum control, which is the uh, control before the big climb. I'm sure I'm not going to finish that climb without walking this year. It's kind of wet. It's wet. What are the other reasons I'm not going to finish that climb without walking? Let's, let's, let's get our excuses in order. Well, you know, didn't ride much this winter. I didn't uh, didn't hit the gym like I probably should have. Uh, you know, it was really loose gravel. Didn't sleep very well last night. Uh, stomach's bothering me. Yeah, I put those all in my back pocket and get ready to have them at the ready. <laughs> Nice little trail along it. People walking their dogs and stuff on it. Jogging. I can't see it, but there's a couple of streams dumping out into the river. Kind of cool to see. Some sort of spillway right there. Going. Big spillway on the Delaware. 
It almost looks like a weir. They're channeling the water in one place. Huh. What that's all about. The neat thing about this is you can go back and research this stuff later. Those two. Two ducks with their faces straight down. Interesting. You sick of the Delaware yet? I'm not. I love these rivers. Going up to Hickton Hill here. The reason I don't remember this last year. It's a steep one. This may be my first bout of actual amnesia about a ride. I thought that much of this route was the same. Maybe this is one of those detours, because, man, I do not remember this. It's a good climb. Keeps going, keeps on giving. This one to control? Yeah. It is. Right. This is last year. That was the control question. All right, forging on. Uh, boom, boom, I think last year I saw some kayakers in here. Wonder if anyone's out here. That's early. Last year this ride was on the 19th. I remember it was my sister's birthday. This year it's on the fourth, one day after my birthday. Happy birthday to me. part of the ride. I mean I really like this road. I shot the same scene last year but it's just I love it. I love this downhill and the stream on the side. Beautiful. It's a little off like an eighth of a mile off the course. I decided to come over and check it out. Check it out. There's a bridge. I'll go through it, turn around, and go back. I don't think we did this one last time. Very cool. Right on back. Delaware, we're in the Tinicum area. Controls right ahead here. Get some food, do this ridiculous climb by walking it probably. And then the real climbing of the ride kind of starts. in the wild. Mm. Yeah. I'm this is the worst secret control ever. <laughs> What's this?
quick bit of French toast, some coffee, and onto this silly climb. Okay, is this stuff happening in the US? Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> Straight up this cliff, right? That's that's it. That's all. Good luck to you. I planned. I I've already pre-registered my excuses. This is a futile attempt. Here we go. Hard part is getting clipped in, for God's sakes. And straight up. Yeah, finally. Distance 9.3 miles. Duration 50 minutes 30 seconds. Remaining distance 67.1 yeah, miles. Current time is 1129. Last <sighs> interval. Average speed 12.0 miles per hour. Distance 59.0 miles. Duration 4 hours 59 <clears throat> Seconds. Remaining distance 67.1 miles. Current yeah, go ahead. 1129. Last interval. Average speed. We'll see. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Distance 59.0 miles. Yeah. Duration 4 hours 59 yeah, minutes. Serving seconds. Remaining right. distance 67.1 miles. Current time is 1129. Like strategy. Last interval. Average speed 12.9 miles per hour. In a half mile. Continue straight. <laughs> Go through the cancer there. Not even room to paper boy. A hey, good effort, a hey, good effort. Foot wheels coming off. Mother, father. Come on. Oh, I almost bit it. That's enough. <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell me I told me so, but I told me so. <laughs> Got a guest appearance by the sun. Stay out there. Rain time. Beware. 
the blowdowns. Doing all right. About halfway through and I'm feeling okay. Not like Superman or anything, but doing all right with these climbs. I think this is something like Euler Hill. <laughs> Everybody was just slogging up here. I was watching them go up and I'm slogging going up here <sighs> The littlest gear I'm in the littlest gear Putting as little effort into it as I can Just to keep the heart rate low I'm Looking to do another 55 miles of this so No sense in blowing up It's climby. It's climby. I did a little bit of walking on that buck wampum. I think I did that last time too. It's a little too much up and down there. <laughs> Pleasant though. Chilly. A little, little, little nippy. But the headwinds kind of make it the worst. Like you're kind of going straight into the wind. You come over some of these ridges you get blasted in the face almost get blown backwards all right someone's coming don's behind me i see her right, i think i'm at a northern northwest control I'm starting to head back It's all downhill now, right? Nope. Well, I hesitate to mention it, but after we made that turn south, it's somewhat of a oblique tailwind, so this is kind of wonderful. Feels pretty nice after hills and headwinds. Whew. Feel like I'm I've got wings. Had the secret control, and uh, I think the guy I crashed into because my brakes came undone. Uh, he needed some chain lube, I think it was him. So at least I was able to give him some chain lube. <laughs> Got a lot of things in the bag. Cold eggs, cheese, and spinach. Well, oh, that's a birthday meal. Cruising along, feeling good. Thank God for this change of direction of the wind. That's what I'm talking about. That's the best sight. That's the best sight. You can have. I'm talking about a tail in there. On his upper stump. Upper stump. You have Tabora. Tabora Farms. Oh. 
That looks good. How are you? Good. How are you doing? All right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If I if I didn't have to like ride with it in no, my stomach. Well, it was funny because I know I stopped here. There was a hundred k Nigel and I did, and he had a bigger bag or something. I'm like, you carry this for real mind. Haha. All right, that's about 90 miles. Not much more, about 35 miles or so. Had a couple cherry turnovers. Used the facilities. Looking dark out there, but it's holding off any bad weather. We still got that tailwind. I'll take it. All right, I lost everybody. <laughs> uh, I called the RBA, let them know, or the organizer of this ride anyway, let them know. And uh, I guess I'll just try to figure this out myself. I'm going down a parallel road, stump road. I'm gonna turn right up here at Welsh, hopefully get back on 202, hopefully they let me. I'm gonna go left here, 202. But I don't know how he's gonna get the word out to everybody or if he needs to, assume everyone can use a map, but everybody else just kind of went. I don't know what's the right thing to do there. I suppose it's right to let them know. It's less than 15 miles from uh, the finish. I might finish before sunset. Continue straight to stay on Station Avenue, then turn left.
right, we're done. Finished at 11.20, all done. All right, it's the next day. Looking at some of the uh, elevation profiles for, the, for last year's event, and I've got for 2022, there was 7,265 feet on the route. And this year, um, I've got, the original route was, looks like it was 7,737 feet, which is quite a bit more, about 500 feet more. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like it got kind of pared down a bit. Not a great deal though. Um, well, I see a, a, a record for 7,262 feet, and then I also see, no, that was that was the that was the hmm, that was the 2022 running of it. But so it's like 500 feet more climbing than it was last year. I know a lot of people were sure <laughs> that it was less climbing this year than last, but that's not what I'm seeing in the in the ride with GPS routes on ride, you know. Uh, the data seems like it's right anyway i'd <clears throat> be curious to see if the, i got that wrong and it was like eight thousand feet after i did the ride it was eight thousand feet of climbing it always seems to be more when you done with the uh with the ride but this is the chamonix youth hostel that we stayed at it's great facility I stayed overnight here. One other person stayed from Connecticut uh, after the ride. Everybody else just took off to friends or back home. And uh, I'm heading back to Ithaca now. But it was a great ride. Um, very challenging. The wind, a lot of wind in your face uh, for a good chunk of it, especially on the northern part of the ride where you're up in Bucks County through all those, all those really bad hills. <clears throat> after Euler Town, all the way to the Connect Bridge where you start turning back. As soon as we turned, coming back, it was, it was a crosswind, it was blowing me around. And then eventually it came a little bit of a tailwind. By the time I got to the Schuylkill River Trail, it was a tailwind, but it wasn't really, <laughs> you couldn't really take advantage of it because you're down in that valley along the river and shielded by rocks and trees so you don't really get the full benefit of it <clears throat> but there were sections where i felt a little blown along but that was nice um it's a great ride one more look around here at the area chamonix the youth hostel where we had breakfast check-in and pizza dinner afterwards the equestrian center over there and Behind that bush is the Chamonix Mansion, which we did not stay at. But this was, you know, bunk beds and youth hostel kind of living. That's all I got. It's a good ride.